You know, you've been involved with the Jimmy Fund, and I remember uh, back in Fort Myers when they brought the teenage group down there. You spent a lot of time out there with the kids. Why has this been an important cause for you? Why have you got involved? Uh, it's just a special, special thing. The Jimmy Fund's a special place. Um, you know, I've always enjoyed going over there. I went over there for the first time last year, not really knowing what to expect, and um, had a blast. Uh, you know, the kids put a smile on my face, and you know, I think my job was to go there and put a smile on theirs, but they made just a just as big of, of an impact on me as, as I did them. So it's something that kind of uh, touched me when I was over there and, and you know, it just, you know, felt, it felt right going over there and, and spending time with those kids. And, you know, I, I loved being a part of it. And, um, you know, obviously they asked me to be co-captain this year and, you know, was honored by that. And um, just to have my name um, on anything with, with the Jimmy Fun is pretty special. Yeah, you know, that's the thing, too, with the Red Sox and being That's one of the things you're proud of, with that relationship I think the Red Sox have with the Jimmy Fund. And you mentioned being that co-captain. What does that mean? Like, if you're a listener out there and say, Brock Holt, he's a you know, co-captain of the Jimmy Fund team, what does that mean to you? Uh, it, it, you know, it means um, a lot. Uh, you know, like I said, the, the Jimmy Fund's a special place. Um, you know, just going over there for the first time last year and seeing what, what they've got going on, on on over there and how strong those kids are and, and the families over there, just to be a part of that, just to have my name, um, you know, with anything mm -hmm. um, involved with the Jimmy Fund is 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 an honor for me. And, uh, you know, it's just a special special thing to, to be able to go over there and spend time with the kids and, and um, like I said, just, you know, you know, play games or do whatever it is, but just spend time with them. You know, obviously the closeness that this – this cause has to the Boston Red Sox. It really hit home this past week, you know, on Friday when you found out the news, everybody found out the news really of John Farrell. What was that like for you, for members of your teammates, but you in particular, maybe when you heard it? Yeah, I mean, we, he, he called a meeting, um, you know, that day uh, that he announced it, and uh, we, we didn't really know what was going on. Obviously, we knew he had his, his hernia surgery, and, um, you know, we didn't know what the meeting was about, um, you know, but then he told us, and um, you know, you could have heard a pin drop in the room. So um, it's one of those things that you know, it affects so many people. Um, you know, obviously John's going through it, but, you know, when he told us, it felt like, you know, we were going through it with him, and, and, and we are in, in a way. And, you know, he's starting his treatment today and uh, just sent him a text uh, before I came over here telling him we're thinking about him. And, um, you know, obviously he's going to be around, but, uh, you know, he, he's definitely in our thoughts and prayers during this time. Yeah, how, how about Terry Francona heading over there with him for his first appointment? Yeah, that's it, it. Kind of shows the kind of man that, that Terry is. I, I have never met him, but um, you know, obviously, you know, he was the manager here for a long time, yeah. and Dustin played with him, and Dustin, you know, says nothing but good things about him. So, um, just kind of shows what kind of man he is, and uh, you know, that's a that's a pretty cool thing that he's doing. When John told us, uh, he sat there and same thing, right? You could hear a pin drop. <clears throat> Two minutes into that discussion, he's saying, you know, I, 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 I'm not going to manage the rest of the year because I don't want to be in the way of the players. I don't want to get in the way of development. I don't, you know. To me, that spoke volumes of who John Farrell is, right? He's going through this, and he's worried about you guys. He's worried about his team. It's the kind of guy he is, isn't Yeah, he? absolutely. Um, you know, obviously, we want him around. I mean, he's the manager of our team. He's the leader of our team. But, um, you know, his, his health is, is the most important thing. So we want him to, to, to go and do what he has to do to, to get healthy and be ready for next year. And, um, you know, Tory's, Tory's going to do a good job um, taking over for him. But, uh, yeah, for him to uh, – for him to say that, yeah, it shows, shows what kind of man he is. You know, obviously we'd like to have him around, but, uh, you know, we want him to, to, to get healthy.